So Android 14 QPR first beta 2 is here. The beta 1 was released previous month. Just one day ago, Google released Android 14 stable version. So if you are using stable version, that's completely fine. But just, just in case you don't know, QPR updates have more and better features as compared to Android 14 stable. I tried it in, in my Pixel 7a right now, just installed it. As expected, having the October security patch. And let me show you some great features included in this one or new changes. The first major change is the new system updater it's now here and uh, likely it will be released with the, it will be available in the android 14 stable too but for now it's only available in android 14's qpr update beta 2 and uh, this is the new ui in which you have the option for system updates you have the option for google play system update where if you have update you have to open that and then you will be able to download and install that update this is the thing and in this page which is a simple now this handy page we have the option to check out the app updates too so all the updates are at one place this is one of the major changes so if we move on to the system updates you will notice you can update your system which means your device security update google play system update and app updates everything just from one screen this is quite impressive second major change which is of course not official one but you can do that very easily you can use ai wallpapers on on your device if you don't know ai wallpapers were introduced with pixel 8 and pixel 8 pro unfortunately i tried that in android 14 stable version these were not working but now finally in android 14's qpr update it's working so if you want to try it out and you want to try out ai wallpapers official ai wallpapers then yes you have to check them these are so amazing and these are working and let me confirm with you once again once again because this is not officially available if you want to try it out on android 14 qpr update you can do that very easily i'll give you the link in the description for the apk file simply click and install that apk file but make sure you are using android 14's qpr update maybe it will work in qpr first a beta 1 2 but in beta beta 1 and this is beta 2 and in beta 2 it's working perfectly fine as you can see we have a lot of ai generated wallpapers and you can simply choose according to your preference whichever you want to choose we have many categories if you click on inspire it will simply create more wallpapers and as far as i know these all wallpapers are actually free and this is absolutely amazing as android 14's qpr1 beta 2 does not have any major changes so this was one of the things why i thought i shall share with you because this is also quite impressive and you can do that so this could be the feature this could be the change in android 14's qpr1 beta 2 by the way if you want to install it on other devices i guess we have gsis available so yes you shall try them if you want to it's totally up to you but if you're a pixel user this is what we have many options i tried using some of these wallpapers on my device for example if i want to apply this click ok and if you see we have option for this option where you will see the information regarding this wallpaper is ai wallpaper this is how it is looking like so you can generate according to your own preference as under 14 qpr1 uh, qpr1 beta first also gave you the option for battery information it's at least here and i just want to let you know that this feature is unfortunately not present in under 14 stable if you did not watch my previous video regarding under 14 stable update you can simply go and check it out but in under 14 stable this battery information is not available but google introduced this so it was available in android 14 qpr1 beta 1 and now beta 2 one more thing is the webcam. This feature is also not present in Android 14 stable and it's only present in Android 14's QPR updates. So if you're using beta 1, doesn't matter beta 2, you have the option to choose or use USB for webcam. I tried that and it's actually quite smooth. Simply connect your cable and choose your device as a webcam and you will be able to use this thing. This is so amazing and these are some amazing changes. Other than else, there are no major changes in Android 14's QPR2 update for now, but as soon as I will find them, I will definitely let you know. And of course, as always, every month new QPR update and I guess stable update will be available in the December. Android 14's QPR1 update will be available in December. So until then, let's see what they will change. But for now, these were things I just wanted to let you know. If you want to try out Android 14 custom room on a device, I'm making video very, very soon. Custom rooms are coming. And if you are new here, I make videos on custom rooms and updates. So if you find content useful for you, make sure to subscribe that. And if you like this video, make sure to like this one. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.